Renault Nissan Alliance is planning to launch four new SUVs in the Indian market and will be investing six to seven hundred million dollars over the next few years. Global management of the Alliance was in India to make these announcements. On your screen is the first look of the front face shop of the proposed SUVs. Despite its minimal presence in Indian auto market, Alliance chairman John Dominic Sanad said that India is an important market for the Alliance. India, as we have said during the press conference, is a major country for us because of this potential of the future and the expertise we already have on the ground. These gentlemen will precise the point, but it's a very special day, not only because it's the day of the 25th anniversary of the Alliance, but it's because we are India, all of us here, considering the future of our business in this fantastic country. The Alliance has already invested $1.8 billion in India and is committing another six to seven hundred million dollars to strengthen its presence in Indian market. We already have in this big investment and this is starting and how we can further to think about to make our growth uh, sustainably. So for that, we will have a lot of the uh, idea, uh, opportunity to be put on the price. The upcoming five and seven seater SUVs based on CMFB platform are expected to be highly localized and will be rolled out soon. Look, I think the timing, we, we haven't confirmed that it's not going to be like five years, so we are working on it. The, you know, the cars are you know, in, in development together with the colleagues of Nissan. So two cars for Nissan, two cars for Renault, uh, you know, in the C segment, so would, which will become, I think, the core of the market. Last year, after the restructuring, the Alliance had announced plans for an EV for Indian market. But with ever-changing policies, the management refrained from committing about EVs for India. However, they said they are studying the recently announced Indian EV policy. We will study it, but uh, you know there are a lot of uh, areas in the region, in the world, where you know EV policies are coming. It doesn't mean that uh, you get them the development. When asked if he will consider hybrids, Mr. Mayo said that they will get what's best suited for India. We are looking, we have the option, we have the things, uh, you know, on the shelf, uh, in the group. Uh, so we will look at everything that makes sense for the Indian consumer. With these announcements, Renault Nissan Alliance seems serious in reviving their presence in India and Indian customers are said to get few more options to choose from.